Hello, welcome to another Simplo by Triplo video with myself, Tim Erickson. Uh, today we have kind of a special video about uh, a, a more of a technique video than sort of a module video. This is how to use a couple of contrib modules, neither of which have I created videos on yet, but uh, hopefully will in the near future. We're talking the rules module and the views bulk operations module. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about them in a minute. But basically, as I was getting ready to do another video today, uh, a discussion came up in our Zulip chat channel. And for those of you who aren't aware of this, this is a place, uh, a chat community that uh, is open to anyone where you can come and ask questions or talk about Backdrop. It's a great place to, to communicate with the Backdrop community. Look for another video I did about connecting with the Backdrop community, and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, Zulip as well as the other places you can uh, ask questions and get information about Backdrop. Uh, the question that was raised was about using Views Bulk Operations to resave a batch of nodes, uh, a, a nodes being pieces of content. There are certain situations in which you change the configuration of, of your site, and this will have an impact on your content when you resave uh, nodes. But you, you might want that uh, to resave a batch of nodes in order to have that uh, happen. For example, if you're using something like the, there's an auto node title module or something that automatically creates the node titles, and but you have to resave the node in order to get that to work. Apparently in Drupal 7, you could use the views bulk operations module to do this. But apparently right now, sort of out of the box, the Views Bulk Operations module doesn't provide that. Anyway, somebody asked about this in our Zulip channel. Um, I replied suggesting a module called uh, Resave Nodes, uh, which is a module that would do something like that. But then our good friend Al Argipiano, uh, as he's known in the backdrop community, or Alejandro, uh, jumped in to point out that you can actually accomplish the same thing using views bulk operations in conjunction with rules in kind of a creative way that I think a lot of people wouldn't know about, including myself, um, until he, he brought it up tonight. So I just did a little bit of experimenting and thought that this might, might, might make a great video. So we're going to walk through the steps on how you can create sort of your own views bulk operation task using rules. And I will do other videos in the future that talk more about views, bulk operations, and rules, although you'll get a little introductory sense to both of them today. So we're going to start out with just a basic uh, backdrop site. This is uh, installed in my lo uh, locally on my desktop. With, I use Lando. Uh, what we're going to do, I have added, uh, downloaded a couple of modules, but we need to enable them. So we're going to go here and we're basically going to enable the rules module. Uh, when we do that, it's going to uh, ask us to also enable the Entity Plus, Entity UI, and some a couple of other modules. I enable those. We also want uh, Views Bulk Operations. So we're going to go and enable that. I think we might also need this module. So let's go ahead and, and uh, enable both of those. I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing here. I'm going to install another module and show you how we can do this if you don't know about the module installer uh, right in Backrupt's DM, uh, CMS. I'd like a little more sample content to show you how this works. And so I just Google sample. I have a module out there called sample animal content. And we're going to go ahead and install this on our site as well. And when we enable this, this is going to I'll go ahead and add uh, some more nodes or content to the site that we can use for this demonstration. Once that's enabled, you'll basically see the main thing that did is just add some sample animal content, just like it sounds, to the front page. Basically, I'm going to do something, because simply resaving some nodes, one, we can't really see the impact of that. Also, I want to stress that there are other things you can do with this, is I want to, I'm also going to basically create a a views bulk operations rule that will allow us to change the publish date of some publication. So we've got a bunch of content published today, and maybe uh, for some weird reason I need to, I want to change the publish date to, uh, an example we'll do today, 30 days ago, and I want to just be able to, to click a bunch of, of, of content and basically, like I could delete it here, make it sticky, there's different things I could do, but right now I can't 
change the date. So let's uh, figure out how to do that. And what we're going to do, we're going to go under the configuration workflow. That's where we find rules. And again, uh, rules is a really complicated and powerful module that basically lets you create sort of if-then actions on your website. This is on a high level. So you can do things like whenever somebody saves a node, display a message on the screen, or whenever somebody uh, saves a node, send the site owner uh, an email that a new content has been saved, or there's different things like that that you can do with rules that are really kind of handy. These are things that uh, a group backdrop developer might write some code for, but if you don't know how to write code and you want to create some complicated if-then kind of actions that aren't handled by other modules, that's where rules comes in. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details, uh, but I'm going to point out that normally you'd start with your rules right here. You create a new rule. For this particular thing, we want to create a new component. Components are like pieces, uh, actions that then you can add to rules, or in this case, you can use views bulk operations. So I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, basically a rule, or how about this, node save and date change uh, rule. And we, the tagging this is just for uh, organization in your admin screen. And then we're going to go up down here to, to data types and we're going to say this, this action should happen on data of the type node. Uh, I'd have to refresh my memory, the label again. I, I think these things are primarily for admin or internal use. We don't have to worry about them. And we want to set the usage as a perimeter. Uh, i explain this stuff in more detail in another video. For now, I just want to show how this works. Uh, so we've created, uh, basically the condition shows up at none, but then we can create an action. And the action uh, we wanted was one, to resave the entity. And basically we want to resave a node. So we go here, we select data selector is node. Uh, these are other data selectors we could use. And as we dig deeper, you can get more selectors to show up. Uh, we'll come back to that another time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click for saving immediately tool, mostly because I know these things because RG Piano told me that this is what I had to do. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we've now got a rule that by itself should save, uh, sort of resave the entity. We're going to go ahead and add this other action though. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set the date selector. We're going to pick node colon, and then this gives us a bunch of other options. And we're going to scroll down here to the date created, node created date. So this is basically saying what we want this uh, uh, component, this rule component to do, is going to be to change the, uh, the created date on a node. And then we can set the value we want to change it to. And basically, there's some suggestions here. You can do things like plus one day, or in our case, we're going to do minus 30 days. And uh, uh, this should work. And we're basically just saying, uh, when we pick any node, change the date created to 30 days ago. We're going to hit save. Uh, these two actions are going to happen in this order. It doesn't really matter which app, uh, order they hap happen in. But again, our, uh, our component is called node save and date change. Now what we want to do, we're going to save this, and then we're going to go into views, and we're going to create a content of all, uh, all nodes. Uh, again, nodes, the fancy backdrop, Drupal term for content, pieces of content. And we're going to say create a view of all types of content. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to switch this to a table just because of fields. That's going to work better, and we're going to hit continue. And basically, when we're going to get in here, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a date field, and I want the post date, which is the date created. I'm going to hit uh, add for that, and I won't change anything else. This is a quick demo. If we update the preview, we're going to see here we have a list of all of our content and the date it was created. All of it was created today, uh, September 6th, 2022. I'm actually going to change the pager here to display all items, which will work for this particular demo. And I'm going to do one more thing, which is I'm going to go in here to bulk operations. And uh, there's bulk operations are some bulk operations provided by uh, Backdrop out of the box. 
and then there's the views bulk operations module and this is the one we want we're going to uh, pick this to basically provide a checkbox to do things with views bulk operations i'm going to go ahead and click this and then it's, it's asking us which are the things we'd like to be able to do and there's a bunch of things already uh, provided and here's the node save and date change this is the the role, role we just made and we're making that available to rules just this simply we could could also do things like we'll promote content or delete item i'll add those two options those are things we some of those are things we could do anyways without this particular view but i'll add them just to sort of show how this works so now if we update our preview uh, we have the checkbox and a set of operations and there's our content um, I, I like to have that checkbox come first, so I'm just going to reorder. Uh, again, I just I went to use add rearrange, and I was able to change the order of those things. So if we update our preview now, we'll see the checkboxes on the left. This is all, really all we need, and now I can go ahead. Oh, I want to do one more thing, which is just for to make this uh, easy for our, our demonstration. Is just go ahead and put this in the uh, create a menu item, normal menu item and say uh, content view it's going to view of all of our content it's going to add that right to the primary menu so now we can go home there's our content view we can click on that we see right away we have these are all the, the the content we have and we'll see all of this is set with a post date of today uh, slightly different times very close but not very different um, and we're going to go here and say we want to do a node save and date change and I'm just going to pick like every other item here and say uh, let's change uh, half the items we're going to resave and change the post date we go ahead and we hit execute you've selected seven items it tells which ones I confirm them and now I come back here and we'll scroll and we'll see the top batch this is sorted right now by post date or created date We'll see the top ones are there, and these bottom ones have been resaved. So, if there were any other uh, configuration changes that that happen on save, those would have happened. Uh, the other thing that our rule did was it uh, actually changed the uh, changed the, the created date to the seventh. So, uh, again, there's these are two powerful very powerful modules uh, three in fact that were views bulk operations views itself and uh, rules uh, all of which there's so much more they could do but I, I was just excited about this little specific thing that I didn't know you could sort of create your own bulk operations using these tools without writing any code and I was excited to see that work and wanted to share that uh, this is a a task that a lot of probably experienced uh, backdrop users like myself might not know how to do yet. Anyways, we'll we'll try to, I may remake this video in a, a little bit more structured way in the future and or uh, dig deeper into rules and views bulk operations. But for now, this will at least get you started uh, on, on and make you aware of these modules and some of the powerful things you can do with them. Please like our videos uh, and post comments. We love to hear from you and that inspires us to keep making videos. Bye now.